Did you know that you don't need to know a lot of music theory or to be able to sight read in order to learn your pentatonic scales? It's as easy as one, two, three. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your circle of fourths and fifths to learn all of your pentatonic scales. By the way, I'm Kadrian, the Sax Habit Coach. I help absolute beginners and beginner saxophone players learn faster and get better on their horns by using practice habits and routines. Now, if you have not downloaded the circle of fourths and fifths, you can use the link in the description below. I've made one for free. You can practice labeling the circle of fourths and fifths until you have it locked here so that music theory will become easier understanding. If you don't know your major scales, it's going to be a hard challenge for you understanding music theory at basically any level. All right, so here we go. So there are a few ways you can use to learn your pentatonic scales or the notes within the pentatonic scales. The first way is by making a major scale. So let's use C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And then I am also going to label the degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So to learn any pentatonic scale, major pentatonic scale, all you do is make a major scale and you strike out the fourth degree and you strike out the seventh degree and that leaves you with five notes. To make it minor, all you do is take the last note within the major pentatonic scale and you make that the root. So A, then we have C, D, E, then we have G. The simple way, you don't have to think about it in terms of degrees or that, all you need to know for the minor, you take the major, take the final note, put it at the bottom and order the scale just as before, okay? And that's how you are going to be able to get your minor pentatonic scale. The other way of making your major pentatonic scales is just by going around the circle of fifths. We're only going to go in one direction, clockwise, around the circle of fifths. So check this, one, two, three, four, five. These are all the notes in your C major pentatonic scale. We're just going to write them as they are. C, G, D, A, and E. But if we order them, it's going to be C, D, E, G, and A. Why would you want to learn it around the circle of fifths? It's very interesting. Without even being able to sight read, what you could do is just sit down with the circle of fifths and practice your pentatonic scales, not just in the regular way, C, D, E, G, A, A, G, E, D, E, and C. That way you will find that when you are trying to use the notes within the major pentatonic scale to, let's say, compose on the fly or to embellish whatever you are playing, it doesn't sound very melodic. However, if you were to use the circle of fifths and then you go C, jump up to G, then go to D, jump to A, back down to E, and you go in that order, in that pattern, you're creating your own pentatonic patterns and using rhythmic variations, then you will find that it will sound a lot more melodic than just going C, D, E, G, A, A, G, E, D, C, like a scale, okay? So, that's your C major pentatonic scale. If it works for one, it should work for all. The theory should work for all. It cannot just work for one scale for me to tell you to do this. So all your major pentatonic scales exist outside of the circle of fifths, okay? How about G, okay? We're going to take only the first five notes. One, two, three, four, five. So we have G, we have D, we have A, we have E, and we have B. If we reorganize it, it's going to be G, A, B, D, E. See the pattern? Okay, G, skip, go to A, skip A, go to B, then you come back to D, and then you go to E. Okay, and that's that, all right? It must be the same for D major. One, two, three, four, five. So we have D, A, E, B and F sharp, okay? So now we have, to order it, we have D, we have E, we have F sharp, we have A, and we have 
B, okay? That is your D major pentatonic. Then, to speed this up, I'm not going to reorder them. I'm just going to talk about the notes. So five more notes, A, E, B, F sharp, and C sharp. A, E, B, F sharp, and C sharp. And that is your A major pentatonic scale. How about E, okay? E, B, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, because A flat and G sharp can harmonically are the same. G sharp, okay? And you can reorganize them. How about B? So we have B because it's a sharp note, we have to keep everything sharp, okay? So we have B, we have F sharp, we have C sharp, we have A, G sharp, and we have a D sharp, okay? One, two, three, four, five, all right? How about F sharp? Okay, so we have F sharp, we have C sharp, A sharp is the same as G sharp, E flat is the same as D sharp, and then we have B flat is the same as A sharp because F sharp major has sharps in it, okay? And finally on the sharp side we have C sharp. So we have C sharp, we have G sharp, we have D sharp, we have A sharp, and we have E sharp, okay? E sharp harmonically, remember, we spoke about that in a previous video. We can switch the sharps when we get to the flat side. So from right here, at C sharp, we could have done D flat instead of C sharp, okay? Because harmonically, those are the same. So you would have D flat, you'd have A flat, you'd have E flat, you would have B flat, and you would have F. And if we reorganize that, it would be D flat, E flat, F, A flat, and B flat. That would be your D flat major pentatonic scale, okay? So that would be that if you do it that way as well, okay? So continuing around, how about A flat? Yeah, the same. A flat, E flat, B flat, F, and then we have G. And that's your A flat major pentatonic scale, okay? How about E flat? Yes, we can do the same thing. E flat, five notes, one, two, three, four, five. So we have E flat, we have B flat, we have F, we have C, and we have G. If you reorganize that, that is going to be E flat, F, G, B flat, and C, okay? How about B flat? Of course, B flat, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, B flat, F, C, G, and D. And if you reorganize it, it would be B flat, C, D, F, and G, okay? All right, let's take these down so that we can get some more space. How about F? F, one, C, G, D, and A, right? And if you reorganize it, it would be F, G, A, C, D, okay? In the regular form. And that's it. Those are all your major pentatonic scales on the outside of the circle of fourths and fifths. So remember, you can write out each scale and you strike out interval four or the fourth degree and the seventh degree of the scale, or you can just look at your circle of fifths going around clockwise and you just take the five notes from wherever. So C, one, two, three, four, five, and you reorganize them. Then you go to G, one, two, three, four, five, and you keep going around with the circle of fourths and fifths. Do remember to give us a thumbs up, it helps. And as always, saxophone, push, play until something happens. Peace.